Hey, I am Phil Bilner for Kid Lit TV, and this is Phil's Fast Five. Today, my guest is, and I am so excited to say this, today my guest is Meg Medina. How you doing, Meg? I'm fine. Excellent. Thanks. So here's how it goes. I ask Meg five questions. She answers five questions. She's allowed to pass on one and only one question, and then if she endures Phil's Fast Five, she gets to talk about, you know, whatever you want. Okay. Okay, here we go. Question number one. You salsa dance. I know. Tell me about your most bizarre salsa dance experience. <laughs> so I would say the weirdest one is that I was, uh, my husband and I took this big vacation for one of our wedding anniversaries and we took a cruise and I have never done that. It was such a grand, bizarre experience, but they did salsa dancing uh -huh. on the deck. So there, my husband's the worst dancer. He can't, um, sorry, I have yet. He can't, um, hear music. He can't okay. count the beats or whatever. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to dance and my husband's around, I'm dancing by myself, sure. which is what I did. Okay, good. So I got up and I started to dance by myself and I went out onto the dance floor and I was barefoot. So I danced until I had blisters oh, all no. on the bottom of my feet and the uh, rest of the vacation I was like, ah! oh, no. and my husband was saying, that's mm -hmm. what you mm -hmm. get. <laughs> that's it. All right. Okay. Question number two. What is the one food we will never catch you eating oh very easy wow okay yuca 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 it's okay. cassava it's this root and cubans love it and you're supposed to eat it on mm -hmm. christmas eve and your grandmother makes it with this mojo with this garlic and lemon people will say they love it i despise <laughs> it despise i see it boiling in the pot and i'm like so so we know not to get no bag for no christmas. yuca <laughs> okay question number three tres you live in Richmond, Virginia. I do. Okay. Are you a Richmond Spiders fan? Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, she's passing. Okay, good. Okay, so we're going to travel all the way back to 1977 for question number three, because okay. you passed. And you know why we are asking about 1977. I do. Why is that? Because my book, Burn, Baby, Burn, is set in 1977 Excellent. in New York. Excellent. So let's talk a little 1977 music. Are you like... Sir Duke, Stevie Wonder, Margaritaville, you know, Jimmy, like, you know, Jimmy Buffett. Are we going with, like, I'm your boogeyman or Dancing Queen? What is your 1977 song? And you have to have a song having researched it. Oh, my gosh. Just one? Okay, okay several. One is hard because uh -huh. the thing about 1977 that was so cool is that music was all over the place. It was. So disco was suddenly on the rise, yep. and it was, you, you just couldn't stop dancing to that. Dun, dun. Do, do, even just try it. Just put <laughs> disco music on, and you'll see. You'll start going. So I was dancing, um, but it was also like Led Zeppelin was new. Yep. Aerosmith was new. I actually saw Queen in concert when they oh. were. I know. Oh my god. I, I, the, I know. Uh, Freddie Mercury is one of the few people I've never seen live, and I wish I'd seen him live. Know, oh my I gosh. I know. So I, I did, and so, wow. um, so I think I loved everything. Like, when I think of 1977, though, I have to say the song I think of, and it's not my uh -oh, favorite, uh -oh. but um, it has a memory attached to it, and it is Donna Summer. Which one? Singing Love to Love You, Baby. Oh, my goodness. Uh -huh. Okay. Ooh, and it, love to love you, baby. baby. <laughs> exactly. Ooh. Okay. Because I bought the album, vinyl, uh -huh, and course. I put it on my mother's record player in our apartment, and my mother's record player opened up like a suitcase. Uh -huh. Right, and you know you had to put the needle on, and yep. it would skip, and so on. But if you listen to that music, mm -hmm. it's uh, very mysterious and a little too sexy. And my seductive. mother came yeah. running out of the kitchen, going, "Ninja, what's that?" And I was like, "I don't know, but it's terrific." <laughs> exactly. So it's Donna it's, Summer. That's what I. Okay, mean. cool. All right, question number four. We're doing great here. Wow. Okay, you like big dogs. I just love them. I love their slobber. I love their ears. I love the way their feet smell like Fritos. I love how dumb they can be uh -huh. and how loyal. Sure. But the truth is that I love all animals. Okay. I mean, I'm I'm a sucker for hamsters, for bunnies, for cats. Okay, so if you had to choose between Marmaduke and Beethoven, who would it be? Or you can go off the menu and choose Marley. Oh. Um. <laughs> I'm actually going to go even farther out, and I'm going to go to Carl. Remember wow, Carl? I, I don't, so you're going to tell me? He is a Rottweiler, Okay. and there was a whole series of books about Carl. Uh -huh. He is a Rottweiler, and when people look at Rottweilers, yeah. they think, ah, they're afraid of them. But this um, 
interpretation of this Rottweiler uh, was this wonderful dog that would like take care of the baby in all kinds of different awesome. situations. Cool. So I go with Carl. Excellent. Question number five, since you passed on one. Okay. okay. I'm going to Havana. Where am I going that the locals know to go and like the tourists don't go? Where? What's one place or two places? Going? I have no idea. I have no idea. And do you want to know why? Because I haven't been to Havana. My family's from Villa Clara, um, okay. Sahuala Grande, that area. And what I know to be true in my, my own family and just always when uh-huh. I meet folks who are visiting from Cuba and so on, it's, you're in for such a warm I experience. The I people are lovely and just enjoy. I think it's going to be great. I think it's great. So you have survived Phil's Fast Five. So please tell us about something that you're working on now. I want to hear something. something. Tell me something good. Okay, so this is the new thing. I am, this morning I was even doing it, I was working on my new middle grade. And I haven't wow. written middle grade since my very first book okay. in um, 2008. Mm-hmm. So this one is with Candlewick. It comes out next year. It nice. still doesn't have a title, so... I, I'm going to be very hush-hush about it because huh? I stink at titles. Are you good at I'm them? I'm horrible with titles. I never know what to call my right, books. Right, right. <laughs> the same thing. So I, I have the, when I'm writing it, it's like Meg's book about and I'll yep. write something in there and then my editor and I come up with a title later. But um, I'm excited because it's based on characters that I wrote for a short story that's in Flying Lessons. Okay. That's the We Need Diverse Books anthology. You know, I, I, I just bought it. I still have not read it. It is on the t- To Be Read Mountain that okay. I have. It is. Mm. It is. It is. It's actually pretty okay. close to the okay. top, I must Good. say. Okay, <laughs> Move it up. Because um, Mercy Suarez is in there. Okay. And um, it's about her. She nice. is um, a girl whose dream is to run her father's painting company. It's really about changes. Really, what happens to us when we're 12, when we're 13, and all the ways that things change under our feet. With our friends, awesome. with our families. Excellent. Meg, you have survived Phil's Fast Five. Excellent. So for Kid Lit TV, I am Phil Bilner. This is Meg Medina, and we are out of here. Can I get a physical? Yes.